I'm here with Jim from A Lot of Bottles and uh, why don't you tell us a bit about your stall, you can? Uh, yeah, well these uh, kind of do um, the glitter glasses which uh, um, a lot of people kind of do, uh, have been doing for the last few years. Um, my kind of spin in it is I only make the large glasses because I don't like the large glasses by myself so why not, you know? <laughs> Um, and then a couple of years ago I started using the little mini figures as charms because so no one else was doing it and I know like it's like us doing the coffee and so I kind of mixed the both um, together uh, so and it's proven to be really popular. What's the kind of purpose of the charms? Is it kind of like a novelty sort it's of novelty, thing? Yeah, it's yeah. just to give it, um, again, make it a little bit more personalised and just to have a little bit of fun really. Yeah. Uh, I think every year we always try and um, diversify and just like make something, um, you know, not make it up a go not every time so we're trying to think what new spin we could do next year maybe diversify to different kinds of glasses yeah uh, i know gin's really popular at the minute so maybe like use gin glasses that kind of stuff so we'll see where we go cool. and uh what's your favorite wine oh sauvignon blanc every time <laughs> <laughs> so do you have a favorite design that you've done uh at the minute it's the grinch one yeah. So you can get a little Grinch Lego, obviously I've got a big green shirt as well, so that's proven to be really popular this year as well. Yeah, so. popular one as well, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Thanks very much for talking to us, it's a great stall, and uh, have a good day. Thank you, Jill. Uh, I'm here with uh, Jesse and Poppy, and you have just come out of the event, and I've seen that you've got four <laughs> or five bags on here. And, uh, well, in essence, you can show us a bit of what you bought inside. Yeah. You don't have to be all of it, but, you know, it's, 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 it's also a little bit cool. Um, well... <laughs> Cool is great, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay. okay, um, I got myself an Igglypuff plushie. Igglypuff? <laughs> an Igglypuff plushie. I have not heard of an Igglypuff. Do you know Pokemon? Not much. Oh, I know Jigglypuff. Yeah, it's the unevolved Jigglypuff. Oh, a baby so it's Jigglypuff. Like, it's like a baby. Yeah. Ah, fair enough. And I also got a little tiny silver. Okay. Okay. I know. Again, again, Sorry, I, I know it just goes <laughs> over. <laughs> I actually quite love that. I'm not big on Pokemon, but I've, I've seen it a couple of times on the side. Yeah. I've heard it's more of a thing. Oh, wow. Just because wow. he's, he's lazy and uh, he just shouts. It, it's, it's, it's perfect. It's, it's great for me. Lovely. So, yeah, you've got a couple of Do you remember what style you got these from? You, you, oh, you, it was a, the soft thumb stall. Yeah. Oh, okay, soft thumb that's okay, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. we love soft thumbs. So yeah. We've got all the soft thumbs actually. Oh, so you, you, you're from New York? Yeah, we're from, well, yeah. that area. That area, yeah. oh, yes. And, and what did you get? Uh, too much, I got too much. I got like a sort of no toy for head shot. Um, Pitball game? Yeah, like an yeah. Pitball, yeah. A mystery box of Marvel. Oh, yeah, okay. I, got, I got a. And so you got a mystery box as well, yeah? Yeah, with mystery box buddies. And I got like, a, a Thanos figure because obviously Avengers. And then can, I, can I have one? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, she's a lot cooler stuff than me. I've got to look at the Thanos here. Uh, if I can get this out of here. There we go. Got, uh, all, the, uh, all the little purple right there. Purple, yeah. There you go. That's a big one. That is a big yeah. one. And you've got, you got an interchangeable head yeah, as well. Yeah, Christmas so. gift. Oh, what did you come down for? Uh, I drank her with it. You drank her yes. with it. I mean, I mean, what I mean is, I don't want did you come back to these items or were you just having a browse and seeing what took you fancy? Yeah, I love collecting. Like, we went to the uh, poster for the event just like yeah. that man, like gaming stuff. I'm really collecting, collecting yeah, and transformers. <laughs> and I've gotten quite into game, like retro games as well, and I like you know, figurines and yeah. card games. So yeah, it's just a nice thing to come to the browse in. Oh yeah, Christmas shopping. I have the second squad here as well. Ah, yes. Thanks for talking to us, and uh, thanks for coming down and enjoying the show, and hope to see you again in the future. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. We're here with uh, Richard from uh, Toys of Tatooine and uh, well yeah hi again we've spoken to you a few times mainly because I love Star Wars I love looking at your uh, items that you got here and uh, well yeah, you're the fun as well and, and you know your stuff oh, thank so you. it's, really, it's really cool uh, so what are, what are usual and great items have you got for us today? Uh, well, we've got a lot of the normal stuff that we always have figures and things, but we, we like to show a few of the different things every time we speak. Uh, yeah. So this, this time, um, my favourite first. Your favourite first? Okay. Underpants set. Darth Vader. Um, back in the day, these are from 1981-ish. Uh, they made a set, they made Princess Leia ones, Luke off, 
Bad play, the seat would have been to underpants for children to wear to go to bed. <laughs> um, looks like it should be a 10 inch record, but they're really cool. And it's a bit different than quirky. Uh, it's good that the seal, because you know that they haven't been used then. Yeah, so they're that's... not soiled. <laughs> To say that the Lycra probably doesn't work anymore and they fall down, so yeah, it's been quite popular recently. Um, these are actually, it says Return of the Jedi on it, but these were brought out in 78 for the Star Wars film. And it's basically maps or schematics, or however you pronounce it, of all the sizes and designs for the sets. So that's for example, is the interior car and corridor of the Death Star. Yeah. So in this book, loads of different design plans of what they use to make sets and the actual all well, stuff that George Lucas things. never looked at yeah <laughs> stuff they never looked at. but they are taken from uh, the design team who were putting the film together what they used to design the sets so they're like original yeah that, that is that is very cool there's a lot in there there's a lot in there. There's a lot more in there than what I expected. 15. 15 different. And the most of the main things, like the inside of the land speed, are only important. Next cool thing, I wouldn't dare use it again. You can see Star Wars Jabba the Hutt shampoo. 1983. I wouldn't risk using it. No, Sealed. No. Cool little items, they did a load again in the range, but quite hard to, well not that hard to find, but quite different, it's something, something a bit quirky, that we sell a lot of them, people people like them, they're a bit different. Oh yeah, very, very different. Uh, yeah, that, that wouldn't do your hair very much uh, anymore, it's not, it's not one of my own. It might make yours look like mine quite quickly. <laughs> um, now we're just going to look at a couple of standard, well, one's quite a hard to find thing, but a very popular chip from the phones. We all remember the, the A-Wing fighter. They didn't actually bring it out until right at the end of the set uh, for the droids cartoon. It wasn't really available before that. Um, and cost a pretty penny. This yes. one's complete. Um, so I can't show you it. Yeah, we, do, um, yeah, we don't want to be uh, we're doing anything. You're in the region that. of 600 quid for one of them. But they are something that's not because it's an iconic ship from the films. Um, it was obviously demand at the end of the film to bring it out, and that's one of the favourite bits we've got today, yeah, but it's very rare. It's near the end, so it's got the droids yeah. level, so that, that is quite near the end of everything. Uh, and then, yeah. something a little bit, I'll take the price tag off. I'll take the price tag off, yes. <laughs> Standard Princess Leia, very thought after, sought after figure, especially in the white, especially with the good condition with that. And then this one's got a little twist to it, because if anyone who does collect Star Wars stuff and is really into it, she should have a blaster that's quite long, black. This one's been packed, which you don't know if you'll be able to see on the video, with an incorrect weapon, and that adds a tremendous amount of value to an item like this. Something like that would normally, Princess Leia wouldn't, and then the card's a bit greased and damaged. You might be talking £600 for that, because it's got the wrong weapon, near enough double that. Just because that's, there might not really be the one or two left from yeah. the manufacturing plant that were packed up wrong. So it's a bit of a, a, bit of a quirky, miscarded, regular item that you could buy. So that's, that's some of the things that we've got today. I mean, we've got lots of other stuff, um, as we normally have. And so if you get if you are into Star Wars, you can round for the next collectability. I'm not sure when it is yet, but I'm sure you'll be told. Um, make sure you pop down and have a look around. And uh, how do we find you online? Uh, we're we on the Facebook page of Toys of Tatooine, um, and we're on, uh, we also do display products, such as the cases for this. We're a company called Action Plastics, who have a website, and we're online as well. But mainly we're on Facebook, it's Toys of Tatooine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Talk to us again. It's no. great. Okay. No? Oh, well, I thought you were saying no, I know. It's, it's waving, yeah. Wave, yeah. Oh, we'll have a wave. Go, go, go. Shoot that thing. He deserves it. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. I'm older. I can afford them. Uh, so yeah. my wife is from Mexico, so she's going to a blah blah blah. We will also be going to Mexico City as a present next year. Um, what is nice? Oh, right, yes. Yeah, I think I had something very similar to that actually as a kid. Yeah. Is this something that you remember? I vaguely remember, yeah. but again, this will be going to next year. So, this is another present. Yeah, well, thanks a lot for talking to us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hope you've enjoyed it. It's been really good, yeah. Yeah, cool. Great. Cheers. Say underneath. Can I borrow a feeling? It's, <laughs> it's this album. <laughs> so, favourite Pokemon game? Oh, Platinum. 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 Interesting. Definitely. Well, have you enjoyed it today? Yeah, yeah, it really is. Would you come yeah. again? Definitely. Yeah, so much. Yeah, well, yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 well, thanks yeah. very much for talking to us. Not a problem. <laughs> Yeah, you can take a drop them off. Yeah. Okay, So yeah, we've done we've yeah. done the uh, retro fest at uni. We've yeah. done it in town hall. I think this is probably our second or third one in the Marriott Hotel. Yeah. So yeah, looking forward to a big day. Really cool. So what uh, what kind of stuff have you brought today? So I've not seen a lot of games. No. <laughs> so we've gone a bit different this year. So obviously Christmas is only a few weeks away. So we've gone big on Christmas jumpers. Uh, and a lot of gifting stuff, so we've expanded the range, stuff we've not had before. So we've got Lego for the first time this year as well. It's got Lego sets for Star Wars, Marvel, Harry Potter, loads of Harry Potter wands, merch, obviously the new films just coming out as well. Um, big on Pokemon, Fallout, bit of Fallout merch as well, and we've just got these, and these are brand new, came in yesterday, Kingdom Hearts Keyblades as well. Oh, the Keyblades. Yeah, yeah so we've got yeah. The, 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 new, the new games coming new out. Game, new games yeah. coming out 29th of uh, January. Yeah, yeah. Available to pre-order in store right now. <laughs> you get free uh, Monsters Inc. Light Up Yo-Yo when you pre-order as well. Just put that in there. <laughs> hey, you can put that in there. That's, 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 all, that's all it is. Uh, we've also got PlayStation Minis, PlayStation Classic as well, which came out this week as well. So we do a few of those as well in store. Hey, you've got, yeah, you've got, you've got four of them on sale today. Yeah, you've got many more, uh, more Yeah, we've got quite, quite a few in store as well, yeah. and a few of the other retro consoles as well as so we fancy wander down to the store we've got snes mini we've got neo geo mini we've got the uh nes mini as well i think we've got the commodore 64 mini as well there's plenty of retro stuff installed today as well pretty cool and how do we find you on the website uh search game.co.uk or you can find us on twitter at game hedro just give us a follow on there that'd be much appreciated that's great well thanks for talking cool. with us be Cheers. Today. well i bought this I think it's better. It's a copycat of Halo, <laughs> <laughs> and it's a pity that um, Lucas uh, went with both because those dumbasses at EA killed him. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I, I just I just saw that foot camera and I got really jealous. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm a big fan of these games because I, the problem is with second hand stuff and getting good and cheap makes you get cheap. Because I do reviews, you see, I do reviews. Okay. Cool. So you're a fan of the original Xbox? Then? Well, the thing is now the good thing about the Xbox and like the Xbox. Because now you can buy backwards compatible, which is make sure you get them at good prices. That's for deals, you know, haggle with trailers, dealers down, ha haggle with me. It's a really good idea. And this, I know it's EA. Yeah, well, to be honest, it's not so bad, but the problem is when you buy it from CMX, you get ripped off. 
yeah. you really get ripped off and see you next to cousins. Like, like EA, for example. I mean, like E3 last year, oh, I know, this year just gone. I know, we'll do something really stupid. We we'll announced the new we'll cancel 1313 yeah, and we'll cancel Battlefield 3. So are you happy with your purchases today? Yeah, but I'll try not yeah. to overspend all. Yeah, of course. Well, thanks very much for talking to us. Just quite as you going into the event, I just want to know what, what have you come down for? Look around at look, everything. Look yeah. around yeah. at everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, have you been to these events before? I haven't, no. Yeah. Yeah. no. First time is. First yeah, time is, eh? Yeah. It's really cool. It looks eh? great, though. It's really good. Well, from the outside. From the outside, yeah, from, from the outside. 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 Yeah, yeah. 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 Is that, is that what, what's happening? Because I haven't been outside yet this morning, so yeah. 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 Sentinel Squad are out there, so that's cool. <laughs> I'm going to have to go talk to them soon. But yeah, so you've seen them, and uh, what, what are you interested in? Is it sci fi or is it comics or gaming? Sort of mostly gaming. Really. Yeah, 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 sort of into, into me gaming. Or yeah. used to be into me gaming. Get back into it all and like to walk around, yeah, you know, yeah. pick out some of the old stuff and that got stored up. Yeah, 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 you always, always going to have yeah. some yeah. sort of fun to bask. Bring it out, yeah. play with it again. We're meant to be shopping for the kids. Well, what you can say is anything that's in there, you just say, yeah, this is for the kids. Just don't touch. Yeah, just, just leave it alone. Yeah, definitely. Well, I, you know, I can actually tell you're really excited about going in and check this out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. No, I'm gonna stop talking here so you can actually get inside. And uh, just, just, just grab the fader, please. You know. <laughs> Thank you very much. So yeah, I'll let you get inside, enjoy the day, and I hope you find something you like and just hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Cheers. What happened? Tom here, and uh, I missed, unfortunately, I missed the prize job, but you won. Unbelievable. I was told that Darth Vader was shouting my name out. Ah, right, Darth Vader was shouting my name out. So you won uh, the retro events. Nintendo Switch and he came with Fortnite. Fortnite, so I've never played. So you've never played. And I only bought one ticket. I don't like him. <laughs> Sorry, I, I hope my reaction is on that video then. Because I, 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 so only, yeah. one, only one ticket's going to win. Only one ticket's going to win, yeah, so exactly. I like that one. I'll buy one and then give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. Well, Congratulations on Thank that. I'm not going to try, try and sound too disappointed because I've not won one. So I'll put so much money in the box, I might as well just bought one. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I'm looking forward to playing it. Yeah, uh, do you, have you played the Switch before? No, I've never played it. So you never played the Switch and you've got a new game? New game, game so, so I'll have, uh, enjoy myself tonight. Very cool. Uh, I hope you do. Uh, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, the, the, for the prize draw. One person is going to win all the prizes. We've got uh, a Santa Darth Vader by Pixel Mart. We've also got this uh, Legend of Zelda by Max Riverbank. We've got some vouchers donated by Prestat Gaming. And the God of War t shirt in a Santa hat uh, that's been made by Jay and Mad Man Design. But we also have uh, a Rick and Morty grid. Spike, but we don't have it here, but it will be on its way to you. Uh, we have to be on the screen. Uh, it'll be on the screen. We'll show it. We'll show it. So, Spike, could you uh, oh, shake the box, please? Shake the box. <laughs> right, that's chucking up, isn't it? That's chucking up. Yes. What kind of song is it? Uh, uh, and it's just the name on the back, please. The winner is Marcy. Oh, Marcy, yeah, okay, yeah, I remember buying it. He was the first person we spoke to. Yeah. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Well, well, thank you very much for it. Uh, Stop eating that. Uh, <laughs> I haven't used that as a lunchbox in a long time, so. It's nice, it's on you. It's on you, yeah, you can do it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you and, give uh, an ink poisoning, we are not responsible. So, well done, well done to Massey. Congratulations. Yes. Well done, well done. You got some good prizes. We had a great day at the Collectibilia Xmas Fair. Thank you to Jake from the Retro Perspective. Really cool of him to help out with uh, filming and the interviews. And yeah, it was a thoroughly fun day. And I think uh, he enjoyed it himself and uh, well you can catch his video and thoughts on the day uh, as part of one of his uh, other pickups videos and the link for that like the links for everything else in the video all all the uh, all the sellers are underneath 
in the description. As always, thanks again to Stephen from Retro Events for letting us in early to uh, get all the the quick scoops and, uh, well, to uh, have a nice look around and a thoroughly enjoyable day and I believe a thoroughly enjoyable day was had by everybody. Sentinel Squad were amazing as always and they were raising money for charity. Congratulations to Tom for winning the Nintendo Switch. Uh, that was the raffle put on by Retro Events. Uh, yes, I had my tickets in there, but you had your one ticket, and I think you were right. Only one ticket can win, so why not just buy one ticket? Maybe it's a philosophy I might use another time. Also, congratulations to Marcin for winning my uh, raffle that I had that day. Uh, everybody that spoke to me got free entry and uh, it was some really cool prizes that you won and uh, I was able to meet up with him a week or so later and uh, I was able to give him all, all of his prizes and he was extremely happy with them as you can see from this picture. Thank you to everybody for donating those prizes. Last thing to do is to show you my purchases. Well I say purchases I didn't have that much money on me on the day, so I was only able to make one purchase, and it was this, well, oh, oh I've been wanting this for a long time, Mark fans. Uh, this is a sealed uh, Star Wars audiobook on vinyl, and uh, yeah, pretty cool indeed. Very, very cool indeed. This was £15, and I got it from... Well, Richard from Toys of Tatooine. Who else am I going to get a Star Wars item from, really? Especially something that is sealed and pretty much mint condition and, well, such a cool item. This one actually completes my set of these audiobooks and also it completes them as sealed as well. I did have a full set, but one of them was opened, which was the Star Wars one. And now I have a full set that are factory sealed. And four of those factory sealed ones I've, I've actually bought from Richard at Toys of Tatooine. So uh, thank you very much for helping me with that collection. And, uh, well, maybe I can move on to something else now and, uh, you know, fill up my shelf a little bit more. Last but not least, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for taking part. And uh, hopefully... We'll see you at the next event, which is uh, pretty soon. It is on the 2nd of February, and that is at the Marriott Hotel in Leeds again. And it's a cool venue, and it's, it's the Retro Games Fair. So see you there, and we'll see you guys on the next Mart's memorabilia moment. Good day. Mart! Yeah. Well, what's up? Do you see?